The famous Stanford Small Well is now open source. It is among the most inspiring and fun AI agent experiment this year. 25 generative AI agents have been put in to inhabit a digital best world, unaware that they're living in a simulation. A group of researchers at Stanford University and Google have created this miniature RPG style virtual world, similar to various games which we have been playing over the years. In this virtual world, there are 25 characters controlled by ChatGPT and also some custom code. They are living out their life independently with a high degree of realistic behavior. These generative agents wake up, cook breakfast, and head to work. Then we have some artists who paint and create while the authors write. They also have opinions. They notice each other and initiate conversations. They remember and reflect on days past as they plan the next day. Sounds pretty scary and interesting at the same time. Primarily, these generative agents or Gen AI agents are computational software agents designed to mimic the believable human behavior which I just mentioned. But they are not like non-player characters or NPCs in the video game that have been pre-programmed and predefined. Agents which do exactly what they have been scripted. The architecture of this generative AI agent is rooted in large language models, which includes experience storage, which means that these agents store a complete record of their experiences in natural language, and that enables them to have a memory of past events. Then they also synthesize their memories, which means that they reflect on their memories, and by this, these agents obtain the ability to think or reflect on the past events. They also can retrieve and plan about, uh, about their future tasks on the basis of their past memories. You can also install this interactive simulation of Smallville on your own local server, but you would need pretty heavy servers if you're using AWS EC2, then maybe you should look at using P6 instances with a lot of GPUs and graphic cards. Um, also, you need to have OpenAI API key for this, which would also incur quite a considerable cost in order to run it um, for a prolonged period of time. Let me show you how you can install it. Um, and I will share the link of this GitHub repo in video description so that you can go in and install it. The first step you need to do is to generate these util files. So once you have cloned this repo, you need to put in your OpenAI API key and then also your own name here or whatever name you want to use. Once that's done, run these commands, which primarily will um, initiate and generate your utils file. Once that's done, install this requirement.txt by using the pip install requirement.txt command and also make sure that you are using this Python version. If you are using anything below it, then this might not work. And I would also suggest not going above and just use Coda environment and set this Python version here. Now you're all set to run your uh, environment server. Once you will run this Python command, it will start your run server and then you can access it on this local URL or your own server. And the message will say your environment is uh, server is up and running. Um, and also make sure that you are using Chrome browser or maybe Safari uh, because it has some bugs on the Firefox browser. And then you can also um, um, set your simulation server. So for that matter, you would need to open another CLI terminal and then from there, just run Python reverie.pi and then this will uh, start your simulation server. And also once you run this reverie.py, there will be another prompt which will ask you to enter the name of the fork simulation. And you can um, simply type this in order to start a three agent simulation with these characters. And um, once you've done that, you can simply run and then step count, whereas it, you can access that simulation on this URL. So that's pretty much it which you need to do.
and then there are other stuff you can do about replaying it demoing it but all in all if you have a good server with good gpus and memory and then you can easily run this simulation on your own local system also make sure if you are using this code in production or um, any other environment you also put in this citation uh, you know as a credit to the authors so this is it guys as i said i will drop the link to this repo in videos description so that if you want to play around with it you can do so with ease if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you